Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Torrance, and today I wanted to talk about a cable that I made uh, using an idea from the Facebook Apple II page uh, given by Robert Rivard. Uh, he uh, had the idea to take an S video uh, cable and adapt it to the composite uh, output from the Apple II and basically tie the chrominance and luminance lines together to give you much sharper text. Uh, so I want to make a splitter where it goes from the composite input of the Apple II out to both a composite output and an S video output. Uh, so that way we can get sharp text if we're doing text things or we can also get uh, composite if we're playing a game. And this will enable the Apple II to work much better with a modern LCD um, as opposed to a uh, older composite. So let's get started. Okay, so I think I've got everything I need. Uh, first I've got my composite RCA cable, S-Video cable, uh, some heat shrink tubing to put it all together, helping hands, I've got wire cutters, wire strippers, soldering iron, solder, flux pen, and a um, hot air gun just to melt the, or uh, shrink the heat shrink tubing. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is just cut off a long length of the S-Video and the composite cable. Um, actually, for the S-Video, we just need a short one because we're going to splice this into uh, the composite, so we'll just cut off uh, maybe about six inches or so. Um, that way, if we goof up the wire stripping, we'll uh, have some leftover. The composite RCA cable, I need to make long enough to uh, reach around to the back, so maybe about four feet. Uh, that looks pretty good. Cut that. And then I'll just go ahead and strip both of these and make sure I still have four wires plus the ground, yes. And then for the composite cable, we'll do the same thing. This one has some nice shielding around it, which is good. And then it's got the inner wire, uh, which looks awfully skinny. Okay, uh, I just realized I actually need two of these composite things because I'm actually trying to make a splitter. Uh, so I just took my discarded end and I'm going to cut off about the same length um, and then I'll just splice the whole mess together. Uh, that's much better. That would have been tragic if I would have just put it all together. Uh, Alright, so now we can go ahead and strip this and then uh, wire them all in. So at the end, I'll have something uh, that on one end has the S video and the composite and to go into the monitor. And then the other end is the uh, composite to go from the back of the Apple II. Okay, I don't actually need the, uh, the shielding wire here in the S video. Uh, it's not actually connected to the ground wires, so I'm just going to clip that off so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, so it won't get in my way. And now I'm going to go ahead and test to make sure that I know which wire is which. Uh, so on an S video cable, um, the top two pins are the luminance and chrominance, um, and the bottom two pins, uh, with bottom being closest to the little black tab, uh, those are the two grounds. Um, so all we need to do is just verify that we know which one is which in the wire. So I'll just use a little continuity tester and we'll touch say the orange one and I'm gonna guess that's one of the ones on the top. Yep, it's that one. And then I'll touch the red one and we'll guess that's the other one. Yep. And then the brown is going to be one of the grounds, and the black will be the other ground. Another one is connected to the outer shield. 
right okay so now we're ready to actually start soldering the wires together uh, before I do that I have to put on the heat shrink tubing I don't want to make that fatal mistake and get all done and then realize I didn't put that on okay we'll put a little flux on there from the flux pen uh, just to make the solder flow a little bit more freely uh, boy, my soldering tip looks horrible some solder on here. Go ahead and use the uh, hot air gun uh, to melt the, I mean to shrink the heat shrink tubing. Alright, now we'll go ahead and solder the ground wires. So we should have two from the S video and one each from the two composites. Uh, and I'm not going to bother to put heat shrink around these because uh, we'll just assume that the larger heat shrink around the whole connection will be good enough to protect them from touching anything else because there should be nothing else in there. Be sure this doesn't follow the NASA rules for splicing, but should work good enough for our purposes. upstairs and uh, we'll try it out on the Apple IIe and see how it works. Okay, so here we go. We're going to plug in our cable. So I'm going to plug it into the composite on the back of the IIe and then we'll feed it around to the back of the monitor here. So here's the composite. Here's the S video. Okay, and let's turn on the monitor. All right, and so right now it's on composite, so we'll see, yep, there's the composite view. Uh, so you can see the colors look good. Um, if we just get into, say, basic, we can test out uh, what the text looks like. So this is with the composite, and so you can kind of see that the text is kind of blurry. Uh, if I switch to 80 column and do a catalog, uh, you can see that in the, the with the RCA jack, the composite is really blurry. Uh, but now we can actually switch to the S video. Uh, so that is this one. And you hopefully uh, can see now with the S video cable, uh, the text is a lot sharper. Uh, there's very little jitter with it. Um, it's pretty stable and it just is a lot more readable. Alright, so now let's switch uh, to a game and see what uh, that looks like using the S video input. Um, so, since we've mixed up the chrominance and luminance, um, the LCD has a hard time displaying the Apple graphics. So, you can see actually what's happening is you get a lot of banding. Um, where you end up with vertical lines uh, instead of nice smooth regions of color. And so if you're going to play a game, probably what you want to do is switch back to composite. Um, and when we do that, uh, you can see that the text 
um, is a lot smoother and the blocks of color are a lot smoother and so it just looks a lot better. Uh, so if you're going to play a game, uh, it's best to play it in composite mode. Um, but then if you're going to do any work uh, with text, uh, especially in 80 column mode, um, then it's better to switch back to the S video. Uh, so basically this cable now gives you kind of the best of both where you can have both uh, plugged into your Apple IIe um, to the LCD and if you're playing a game switch to composite and if you're doing working with text then switch to the uh, S video. So thanks for watching.